Hunk a hunk of burning love, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Mighty Plantain. Got Boosh with me again. Yep. We're going to check out something from uh, Split Rock Distillery, which is actually a local distillery here in, was it Newcastle, Maine? Yep. Newcastle. Newcastle Along Route Maine. 1. So this is the one of their vodkas, and it is a, uh, a horseradish vodka. So it'll be a little spicy. Exactly. Well, we're hoping so. And once again, I am too fat for this shirt, but... <laughs> it seemed appropriate. Let's see if I can find the starter on this. We're going to get right into this. Now, while I'm pouring this out, make sure to hit us up down below with a like and a share. And if you subscribe, you'll get a notification every time a new video is posted. Hopefully you're enjoying them. They're worth checking out. Let me give us just a little taste to start off. I can smell yeah, it's got a little bit of booze. Can definitely smell here. the smell the alcohol. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you can there's smell a little the, bit of bite in there. Oh yeah, there is. You can smell the horseradish. Oh boy. Well, what proof is that? <laughs> here goes. I think it's eighty. a good healthy burn to it it does you can taste the horseradish the horseradish kind of covers up the the, the burn of the alcohol there. one thing i am detecting those underneath the horseradish i wonder how many times this is this is filtered <clears throat> it's actually got a bit of a a raw vodka taste yeah. to it um it's i mean it's not, organic it is organic and it's not really that smooth, but it actually isn't bad. The horseradish kind of covers up that yeah, that harsh alcohol taste that vodkas usually have. It's full on certified organic, but vodka, and it's all it's mashed, fermented, distilled, proofed, and bottled right there in Newcastle by Split Rock. So they keep everything in house, which is yes. nice. Um, hopefully, we don't see what happened with the other main distillery, uh, White Rock. Right. Well, they yeah. just open now, so they're they're, they're not yeah. as long as they don't get bought out by anybody. Yeah, exactly. White like Rock, White Rock Distillery uh, actually created the Pinnacle brand. Yeah. You know all those flavored vodkas um, got bought out by Jim Beam, uh, and then within a few months the place was closed and a bunch of people were put out of jobs. So really yeah. don't want to see that happen again. It's not bad. No. I mean, like I said, it's a little bit of a raw vodka. It doesn't seem like it's very filtered. No, it doesn't. But the horseradish is... The horseradish comes through right in the beginning. Yeah. And now you get that... I'm getting that little bit of an aftertaste now with the horseradish. Yeah. And really... Horseradish really isn't that spicy, I don't think. Not compared to some of the peppers out there. Right. And... It's just it's just a different different taste. Yeah, so it is unique and different. I would definitely recommend checking it out if you can get a hold of it around here. Um, I know but, some some people put it put horseradish in in a coleslaw or something like that, but it's not. Give it a little extra yeah. kick. Yeah. What would be more appropriate to mix it with than a spicy Bloody Mary mix? So this is a spicy blend. Didn't really say, but there's lots of pictures of peppers yep. on there. So, horseradish and peppers, two completely different types of spice. Uh, I think horseradish is uh, cytokines? No, there's, there's a completely different chemical yes. compound than the capsaicin found in, in peppers, and it breaks down differently. So, it'll be interesting to see how these two combine. Um... The one thing about horseradish is that you can actually rinse that out with water compared to most of your peppers. There's really nothing that's going to change that flavor or get it right. out of your mouth. Well, milk actually is the best thing to use, but... Absolutely, but even that isn't really right. that effective. It just kind of gives you a cooling sensation. All right, so let's see how this You can still over. smell the mixture. Yeah, that you vodka, still smell the the vodka. horseradish is uh, really up front. It actually looks like it's separated. Look at the top. Yeah. Hmm. You look at. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a little bit of a. 
of a line now. <laughs> the vodka's kind of floating. Let's see if we can fix that. Ha <laughs> ha, with a spoon. I don't know. Not mixing too good. It still looks pretty separated on the top there. But better than it was, I guess. Honestly, probably should put this in the blender. Yeah. It's alright. You can definitely smell the horseradish in the vodka. Oh, yeah. The vodka. Alright, so double spice, pepper and horseradish. Now you did mix it up a little bit. Good. That's an interesting combo. Oh yeah, you get the peppers right off. And the horseradish kind of follows up and blends uh, yeah. with it. Yeah, actually, this stuff is good to mix. Yeah. I wouldn't take it straight, but it's better than mix it. Yeah, the merry mix is actually covering up that harshness to the uh, to the vodka. Yes. And that unfiltered taste. And this is actually perfect. It's actually a really good mix. It's a perfect companion. So that's good. I like that a lot better than the straight vodka. Yep, me too. Um, so there you go, folks. Check out the Split Rock Horseradish Vodka. They've got a couple of other varieties as well, yep. um, hopefully equally as nice. Support a local main business, and hopefully they don't sell out. Um, in the meantime, hit us up in the comments, the email link down below, if you've got an opinion on this stuff. and Let us know if you agree or disagree. I'd like to hear that and discuss it with you. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Keep drinking. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American...